What's up DFS players? We have 15 MLB games today and we're going to be going through the best prize picks entry. So what are the best DFS picks for today? So again, the way that prize picks works is it's just parlays, right? You can only place parlays on prize picks, but what's interesting about prize picks is any two picks you select, so any two leg parlay you create will have the exact same odds, right? 20 to win 60, 20 to win 40 in profit, so that's just plus 200 odds, right? So we've gone through the math in tons of other videos, but essentially, because prize picks is this you know, fixed parlay platform where any two leg parlay you're playing is just getting plus 200 odds, you're getting the implied price of minus 137 on all of your legs, right? Because prize picks only offers two leg parlays at plus 200, and any two leg parlay with minus 137 odds for both legs is plus 200, prize picks is essentially giving you the implied price of minus 137 on all legs that you could include. So again, this is pretty interesting because you can think about it. If we took Blue Jays, Red Sox, yes run first inning, and Phillies, Cubs, yes run first inning, on prize picks, we'd be getting plus 200, right? If we took the yes run first innings or the no run first innings. Whereas on DraftKings, for example, you can see if we took both yes run first innings, we'd be getting plus 185 odds, right? Whereas if we took both no run first innings, so if we switched the Red Sox to no runs first innings and the Cubs game to no runs first inning, we'd be getting plus 351 odds. So... On DraftKings, we'd be getting plus 351 odds, and on prize picks, we'd only be getting plus 200, right? So this is why prize picks is interesting, right? They're not varying your payouts, depending on if you're selecting the over, the under, for any prop, for the yes run first inning, no run first inning. It's always 20 to win 60. So long story short, this means we want to look for bets where the sports books have the over heavily juiced, right? So for example, we can see a positive expected value bet from Odds Jam, which just means a sharp, profitable bet from Odds Jam on prize picks right here. Blue Jays, Red Sox, yes, we're on first inning. Minus 137 implied odds on prize picks. Pinnacle Sportsbook, so the sharpest bookmaker in the world, they're pricing this all the way up at minus 167. And we're getting this at the implied price of minus 137 on prize picks. So sportsbooks, right, they imply win probabilities through their odds. So when the yes run first inning, the over half of a total run in the first inning is heavily, heavily juiced on the sports books, like we can see it is here, minus 150, minus 167, that means the sports books, the more efficient, sharper betting markets, think the yes run first inning is a lot more likely to occur. So this is a fantastic bet to include in your prize picks entry for today. Yes run first inning in Red Sox, Blue Jays, the profit margin's 4% right? So even though prize picks is baking a ton of juice into their market, because they don't vary payouts, depending on if you select the over the under, we can ruthlessly compare prize picks lines to the sports books and find these spots with value. So here we see a really good one on Blue Jays, Red Sox, yes, we're on first inning. So that's the first leg I'm including in my prize picks entry, right? The over, right, on prize picks here. We're getting a lot of value on prize picks, and you can see this is a positive EV bet, 4% profit margin on this play. So again, also, if you haven't already, you know, I do recommend joining the Odds Jam Discord. So, you know, obviously not everyone has time to stare at Odds Jam and try to find profitable bets all day long. Well, that's literally all I do all day long. So if you want all our bets in real time, obviously, you know, we give out a bunch of free picks, stuff like that here. We have a premium channel for prize picks as well as for sports betting. But the goal is, you know, if you're not able to stare at the lines 24-7, we'll give you a heads up, let you know when we're making a play on prize picks or a sports book, and you can hopefully tail it and we'll cash together. Um, so regardless, let's get into our second leg. So the second leg I have is Bailey Falter over four strikeouts, right? So once again, we see a pretty massive line discrepancy. Um, so FanDuel is setting the total at over or under four and a half. They also have these alternate lines where they're pricing the over three and a half strikeouts at minus 240, right? So we can see the over three and a half is at minus 240. The over four and a half is at roughly plus 100. So the over four would probably be close to like minus 175 if FanDuel offered a market for over under four. So once again, this is a line discrepancy. 
because prize picks, right, they're setting um, the line at over under four. FanDuel's main line market is over under four and a half. So being able to get Falter over four strikeouts is another spot with value on prize picks. So that's what I ended up locking in for today. 50 to win 150 on Bailey Falter, over four strikeouts, Blue Jays, Red Sox, yes run first inning, over half of a total run in the first inning, two sharp plays on prize picks, um, where we're getting win probabilities above 57.74%. So let me know if you like it, let me know if you're tailing, and let's make some money.